criminals. It's weird how industrious and innovative they could be. I mean, a fake police station in Diggo Martin, hidden in plain sight, immaculately painted, blue and white with six point stars on the gates. You for real? Police rescued four venues from a house off Union Drive, a house painted to look like a police station. They also arrested three men, young fellas, mid 20s, excellent painters. I mean, look at the house. It looks better than plenty police stations. Maybe you've heard about phishing scams, where cyber criminals create websites and emails that look legitimate. Sometimes these fake websites are hard to detect, but you're telling me that no one on Union Drive noticed that fake police station? I'm trying to put this into perspective for people who live east of the lighthouse and south of Grand Bazaar. Union Road is what? Three or four minutes drive from the Four Roads police station? Can you imagine on the day of the rescue mission, police officers pulling up to the house and saying, oh, wait, man. You find this place looking like where we just work? Did neighbors notice anything? If so, why didn't they report it? Maybe you're holding them accountable, but you shouldn't. It's easy to look at that house. The blue paint, the stars of David. And assume any number of things. Free paint. A Rasta who loves blue lives there. East Indians moved in and they freed Maljo bad. This is Trinidad. Would you have called Crime Stoppers or texted 482 Gary? Honestly, it wouldn't have even dawned on me that that house was painted like a police station. Trinidad has 77 police stations and the commissioner of police says he intends to reduce this number to 30. Logistically and financially, closing down police stations might make sense. But there's one thing I know for sure. Trinidad can't afford more fake police stations. We already have fake police fake police cars the way i see it there's only one solution we have to ban blue paint ban white paint red wall news